So welcome everyone back to Metal Gear Soldier. Now where we left off, I uh, yep, we were up top here, but then I oh ah damn. But yeah, you notice here yeah, might as well. I think I think I might have said this before, but uh, you might as well notice that my health is let's say somewhat bigger than before. Ain't that cool, yeah? But yeah, I also need to. Well, I think it's might might be let's say uh let's see how snake ages or not because but then again I don't know. All that I know, let's say some games, let's say PlayStation 2, especially the Japanese one, they were technically alive. And you know the one here on my computer, that kind of makes it a more interesting, I'd say. This pose. This pose. This pose. He's rotten. <laughs> but yeah, also that, uh, what was I gonna say again? Oh yeah, also, let's say I had played the game before, but uh, it screwed up at some point, so, uh, so yeah. Also, then again, about for, uh, let's get, let's get some more ammo here, because, well, you can see here, okay, 47 bullet, lot the bullet. There's like a big freaking scorpion over here too, yeah? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think I also remember that I would need to repurpose a little something here on my, on my back, on my inventory. I mean, I'm currently two grenades, so I don't think there's actually <coughs> the need to carry more than one grenade, yeah? This I don't need. But yes, I mean, you can see that I've been using the white frost grenades more often, so... Gonna put this one here back for the time being, and thus equipping the Mark 22. Also, I think I might have to put away the uh, 1911 A1. It's it's a good one. It's a good one. Don't get me wrong, but but yeah. Also that I also that I, that I need to say this before that. Uh, well, I was recording, and you know when the final when you know the uh, the final file is let's say resurrected, and let's say from the two files that I got myself. Uh, you had to, let's say, delete, you know, the, the first one, so, yeah. Uh, then again, when the final one, what I saw it was, let's say, fuck this shit, I mean, I needed to... Well, how can I say, get rid of this, everything, so... I don't know, I mean, I'm trying it again, of course, with the, with the Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, no, Grand Theft Auto 5. I, uh, number 4, because, you know, the uh, Duke of this, I... I got it for free, and so I wreck havoc, and so on, but that's just a small resolution to say at all. In the meantime, I know that the uh, shortcut for me is, it, it can be alive at some point. But don't get me wrong, it's a good software. It's a good software. It's also very user-friendly too, but I mean, you just gotta know what you're doing, because with the different file types and variation and whatnot, you can all, you can all, it also is gonna fuck up whatnot, so... You gotta keep it. You gotta keep in mind because shit off. Shit can always hit the fan, yeah. Also, I don't think I need the night vision goggles here. The thermal goggles are more effective, in my opinion. I don't need this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, this group in here might be useful and whatnot. So, yeah. Usually it would be dead by now, but who cares? And again, it's not the sort of the scorpion submachine gun. That's that with a Czechoslovakian summer scorpion, which apparently, I believe the Czechoslovakian might might carry maybe let's say capture little living submachine guns off trees and whatnot. Can you imagine? But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the M16 guns. Uh, yeah, I also got the keys and whatnot, and we also hear gunshots here from last episode. So, yeah, without, let's say, too, uh, without, let's say, too screwing up too much. Okay, 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 okay. I'm famished. Listen. Fucking hell, could you move on? Yeah, might as well have to... Oh, come the fucking hell on. Last time I ran this... 
Um, I should have fucking known this as well too. Ah. Fucking hell. So yeah, you know what? Fucking hell! Could you cut that out? And this goddamn let's say this thing is going so fucking slow and not fucking hell. Should have gone with the M16 or whatnot, cause get up, get up, get up. Ay 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 ay. Must have gone with the headshot, but the fucking thing won't even move now, wouldn't it? Fucking Jesus Christ. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Did I get him? I don't care. Let's get up. Get up, get up, get up. And then again, yeah, I know I kind of... I'm not gonna fuck myself up or whatnot. Jesus fucking Christ. Things are really too slow than I remember before, and it's actually... Triggering me! But yeah. Who gives a damn? And yeah, you know, this is all my fault that I had to, let's say, get, get it with it. Hurry the fuck up, you son of a bitch! What? <laughs> Hurry up, for fuck's sake! Just a simple fucking burn, it can't be that fucking hard now, can it, for fuck's sake? I don't give a damn. Hurry the fuck up. Come on, come on. Okay, now this should be to make things more interesting. Yeah, damn it indeed. Ah, for fuck's sake. He is run he's out of ammo too. I mean they're all just resorting to pistol because for one, we are fucking up on their armor too. Where are they? No seriously, where are they at? I don't think they even know I'm here, do they? Forget about this one. I got my I'll get myself the other one over there. Yeah. Alright the fucking hell up, will ya? Holy fuck, that was close. Hey, straight on I'd say too even. Yeah, alright the hell are you now, you little bastards? Now the frame of here is actually way better. I uh, for the angle too, why not, yeah? Oh, come on. You wanna fucking go? You wanna fucking go that that, huh? I wish I could see them, but I can't. Fine then, let's play with something, let's play something similar then. Fuck off, Nick, with your pussy and whatnot. Where are they at? For fuck's sake, Jesus Christ and... Okay, hold on, I think I might have to, uh... Have fate. Oh, look at that, it, looked, it got better somewhat. Let's play that way, huh? That's really that fucking good now, isn't it? And they just detonate. But seriously now, is anyone else gonna gonna wanna fight too? 
I mean, I get it, I get it here that the, uh, the, the place is quite big or not, so yeah. Oh. Okay, that actually... No, that didn't help out. I'll make things more accurate. Awkward. That helps? Okay, no, that doesn't work. I guess this, I guess this kind of worked. I guess, but... I mean... Uh, it's kind of cute these guys, they go, how they can't see or whatnot, but you can see that uh, by fucking up their ammo depot or not, their ammo kind of really, really limited. So... HQ, come in HQ! Head headache is in play or whatnot. But yeah, but, but, but then again, because of getting hurt and so on, so on, I mean, it's just, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, better off, like, there's some shooting, some... Shit, I missed. Ooh, spot on. But yeah, I know that we're gonna have, let's say, to finish off to fight off some more, I think it would not, but then again, second. Say something, my friend. You seen any enemies equipped with flamethrowers? Yeah. What about them? Those flamethrowers are M2s. They were first used in World War II during the invasion of Guam. The M2 uses pressurized nitrogen gas to fire a fuel mixture of napalm and gasoline. It comes in handy for torch in places that are tough to secure with conventional firepower. Uh huh. Like trenches and bunkers and pillbox enclosures. Watch out though. Get hit by a flamethrower in a narrow spot like a closet or a trench and it's barbecue time. Okay. Don't wander too close to an enemy carrying a flamethrower. If you need to take one out, try sniping from a distance so the flames can't reach you. What are they doing with American-made flamethrowers anyway? Okay, good. Well, like a lot of other nope. Western weapons, those M2s were probably jacked for research purposes. Yeah? Okay. But if they're actually using on me. them... Come on. Man, they must really have it in for you. Glad to know. Glad to know. What do you mean? The flamethrower is heavy, short range, oh, and on. can only be used for a short period of time. Not only that, but when a flame trooper gets captured, he's almost always put to death. Oh. Basically, it's a bad idea all the way around to use flamethrowers unless you're sweeping. And despite all that, they're keeping them at the ready just for you. What do you think of it? I uh, like you're out for revenge. Well, you've offed an awful lot of Volgan's men out there. No wonder they hate you. Fair enough. I'd say fair enough. But now time to lick my wounds again. Okay, but then again, uh... I somehow have a feeling, of course, that uh, sometime now I'll get my hands on, let's say, uh... But it was something or not. There we go. But yeah, I gotta... At first I gotta... Fuck's sake, one second. Ah! Itches! My arm itches! So yeah. Now I gotta handle the cure now. Burn, burn, pussified burn and whatnot. What, what, what the hell? It's a gunshot wound. Okay. Hurry the fuck up. It's a burn now. Hurry up, a pussy. We don't have all day. One more. Ah, he said for move on, goddammit. 
the frame rate refresh rates are kinda bit of a bitch to handle and not for fuck's sake. But, you know, it's, it is how it works. At least mostly for some closed spaces, things should be okay. But yeah, now we're near the Grove New Grad Underground Tunnel. Where now supposedly the ambience, it should be much more much more smaller in and uh yeah, we wouldn't have as much. Some bats up top there, you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nasty little bastards, I tell you that. You. Hmm. Lovely. But yeah, also. Also that, uh, you know, just walking around here, like, no enemies and whatnot, it does give, like, a bit of a, a feeling that it's gonna be a boss battle soon, I mean. It's something that I always, you know, keep in mind. And again, the first, first, the first footage of all this, I mean, it was, it was actually way better than all this, why not? But screw it! The, uh, let's say, the freaking computer screwed up. So, how uh, the hell if I can, well, hell if I know. But, I mean, I did, of course, manage to leap over a freaking flamethrower, so... Yeah. The Fury. Am I right? Well... It should be done by now. After all, I mean, there was only one left, too. I mean, of the Cobras, as far as I know. Something smells a little bit odd. Snick knows that like there's some busted around and whatnot. Hi. Now uh, what's he doing? Yeah. Ben. <laughs> hey then. I am Gil. Nice to meet you. My rage will incinerate you. Really? I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw then? The nuclear war? What? Fury! I don't think that radio does mean anything now, doesn't it? A great and terrible fury at being alive. I can fix that. Now, you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Well... He was one cost caught in the blast of the uh, propeller of a rocket or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny how he once sees me, but now he forgets about me completely. But yeah, I think I... Faggot. Of course. I first had the first, the first hand, but... Hey. Mother! You keep laughing, I'm coming for you.
I'm trying to make this go, go as fast as possible, but this bastard here is like an ass to handle. Faggot. But yeah. Quit fooling around. Now he's gonna bulletproof, huh? Oh fuck. Shit. And what? What's he gonna do? Ah, he gone away. Okay then. The fury, the super fury, so angry, so so edgy and shit. But then again, I don't. Uh, but then again, like if I just uh, but again, I've seen before. If uh, depleted stamina, I can get myself some free goodies. Yeah, goodie. Fuck off! I didn't get him, did I? Asshole! Um. Oh fuck me! Come on! I mean, the speed is at fifty percent when the thing can actually go even faster than I did this. But I mean, for fuck's sake! And then my god. No, you're not. Fucking fire. Yeah, no, I'm good. Am I right? Now get out of here before this bastard. Now I gotta move before this bastard just fucks up everything. Goddamn flame won't even get on one even watch away from me, goddamn it. These bats are everywhere. Ah. Where are you going? Wait, where is he? Ah. I didn't get him, didn't I? Fucking fire. Fucking fire! Fucking fire! Fire! Fuck's sake! Ah! Move on, goddammit! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! One second, my dog is barking. No, I can't stop because, well, I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of. No, we're not. Listen. Ugh, come on, goddammit. Fucking hell, now the damn thing is gonna crash now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's fucking hell. Bappy! Shh! Ah, fuck's sake. Fucking hell. Fucking stressful, I'll tell you that. Okay, good, good. We didn't fully crash by now, but... Ah, uh, my shield just broke down again. I need myself a brand new computer too, but first I need to get myself uh, some work, and then to probably get myself uh, some proper funds to actually build a freaking computer, whatnot, and hope to it that it won't be a piece of shit as well. And how long is gonna even last a while too? I kind of hate this camera angle. Yeah, okay. Where am I at? Fire! Fuck you! Oh! It's good, alright. It's good, alright. I'll tell you that much. Pussing around, snake, and fire! Fear. 
Quit pussing around and just fight the damn gun already, for fuck's sake. Okay, now I'm gonna move on. Ah, uh, this, this man-child. Now even I have to go back here to, to the survival viewer, hear the goddamn wounds and whatnot. And hey, because the damn thing just, just wants to go on a freaking 60 frame per second, right? I mean, I didn't even ri I didn't even, let's say, limit the frame rate for this thing, and now it just fucks up like that. Fucking amazing. I don't give a shit about that. Wait, wait, what? Burn. Believe me, low frame rate can be much more stressful than you can actually imagine. No wonder why some players play as noobs and whatnot and whatnot. What, no life medicine? All the serum, antidote, and so on? Okay, I get it. No use? Fuck off. And boom. Wait, boom. Now we have the upper hat. Now, now it's fair now. Quote unquote. Come on, come on, come on. Where's the motherfucking going? He flies around, but you never see him. Where is he? Oh, because of the goddamn barrel. He's over there, actually. He's about here. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're not getting away from me. Lame soldiers always put to death. A body just aimed properly. Fuck off, bat. Fuck off, fuck off. I. Gotta get out of here, will we? Where'd he go? Yeah, he's over there, eh? Feel this burning rage, motherfucker. And go to sleep. We're gonna, we're gonna take him all the way to the freaking... I don't know, mental hospital? Boss. This is the end of the Copras. Got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To hell. To join the shot. Join the sorrow. Nice for some fiery metal dramatic, because it's killing me. I can see it. No, you don't. Mission control. Do you read me? Watch your mind on the thing here. Much better. I'm coming home. I see the earth. Fuck. 
Great. Oh, ah, fucking hell. Ow. Didn't thought of that. Well, better now. Great then. So basically what I just did, I just took off the wheels on my chair because for one broke and my back hurts from it from ever since. So yes, I don't know, it feels kinda well what that and oh. What's this? Uniform fire. Mine. Fucking amazing. Not just that, but uh but yeah, since uh but yeah I talk about saying about the the uniform this here and uh actually helps you let's say <sighs> Fucking hell. It actually helps you, uh, you know, take less damage from fire and so on, but apart from that, it's pretty fucking cool, I'll tell you that. Probably one of the most coolest camels I have here by far, yeah? Now, to where the fuck, what the hell can I do about this? Now we're going to head off to Grodnigrad. Hey. Ointment. Okay, everything's everything's everything here's that. For now at least. But anyways, let's just get up and get a move on. We gotta rescue Sokolov and shit. I'm getting I have no pains for all this, whatnot. My chair you kinda feel like one of the one of the uh, you know the carnival thing, you know, the, you know, you ride a bull and so on, just shakes around. That's how my chair feels like for now, because it's only one because it's only the uh one pen on the goddamn ground. I need to buy, might build myself some more better stand for this thing or whatnot. not. Ah, but oh well, some gods prefer to make some things on a budget, so... Fuck if I know. A uh, very tiny budget as well, too. My neck is snapped. So... In Grodnigrad. So this is the impenetrable fortress, right? All the more, all the more fun for me, actually. But they are not. Quite a lot of fun, actually. Got every got yeah, got there, but. We still need to, let's say, handle off what... Now we still need to, let's say, handle off with the, uh... Sokolov, the, uh, that... Gay Trap Rykov, and so on. Right, everything's here, takes care of that, and now let's have some fun. Sneak around? <laughs> why would I? Seriously, why, why, why even would I? The stamp thing is really what? How is this thing is taking a piss? But yeah. Also, when I better say eliminate the enemies here, let's say there, there's some set of the ghost enemies around here. I killed, let's say, for one top here, I mean, and, uh, I mean, killed all of them, but there was just one standing around here, still controlled the radio, and I didn't even know where the bastard came from, what not. But, yeah. I mean, where the, then again, where the hell would it went? Oh, finally, it works. Where is he? A nice, beautiful headshot. Now, I know there might be a new wagon, new gun here or not. I think I might have just... What? Now, to be honest, I think I, uh... Messed up on the RPG-7, but who gives a damn? Huh? 
Huh? This is HQ. Ah, fucking hell. This will be fun. But yeah, they're gonna send some of the more reinforcements over here. There's gonna be quite a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. Space for one. I got myself a sh uh, spingarda. A fusilli. But seriously, where the hell are they? Make up your fucking mind already, right, goddammit. How about you fight the damn gun? Yeah? Okay, what about your legs out there, huh? Where'd he go? Quit pushing out on me! And there we go, that's all of them. At least so they can think of or whatnot. Yeah, it's not like you're on, the, on that side of the wall. I mean, I did hear gunfire, but... I ah, forget about it. Oh! I get it, he was in the side of the wall, I mean, which just knocked him out. But yeah, over here he's not gonna load, cause reasons. Come on then! Come on then, little whopper pepper. Boom. And there go that guy as well too. Fancy shield of yours, huh? Where's the pepper going? <laughs> pepper wanna play, motherfucker. Come on, goddammit. What the f <sighs> Come on, Snake, don't time for this bullshit, just... Sneaking around where no place to sneak and whatnot. Fucking hell. Ay, ay, ay. Where'd he go? But yeah, these guys here on the other side of walls and whatnot. Just ready for repopulate the area and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is this bitch at? Come on, quit wasting my time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Actually, he's right up top there. I see. What's, he, what's he doing up top there then? Shine a spite lot on me, I know I'm sexy. At least you know the, uh, the aperture side of the M16 kind of helps me focus and whatnot. Get the thing off me and whatnot. But yeah, I know as well uh, like where to go and whatnot. Especially for a M63, yeah? Good. But yeah, the M63 I know is like a... Different model than the of the M6 and so on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you the iron sights? But little do I care about all that. But yeah, how did I go about to reach this side from here? I don't care. I don't remember. 
But I only but I'm also let's say focused on one thing as well too. These bats here they seem to be quite well equipped and whatnot, yeah? Well it would be a shame if I detonate some of the uh, detonate some of their supplies and whatnot. Sit on Okay. I guess over here I can just uh, take pot shots at them, right? Bingo. One easy target after another easy target. Damn it! Uh, why do I keep pressing the wrong button all the damn time for fuck's sake? Dada. I mean, unlike the other regions, I mean, I can't, let's say, fully kill them or whatnot. I mean. I mean, eliminate everything here and whatnot, but who gives a damn about that, right? Who gives a damn? Then again, who even cares about the freaking... Uh, how can I say the freaking, uh... Spotlight and whatnot. I mean, uh, yes, I can shoot him down and whatnot, like so. And these iron sights, which I've been struggling with ever since, you know, the first boss battle and whatnot. I mean... I say did try some time, yeah. Who's that? But yeah, I don't I don't know if I what the Okay. Lovely. Now see how this place here is quite intact, yeah? Well, it'd be a shame if I Put a bomb here. And now we get away. Oh dear. He looks even more redder than before. Wait, and oh, at least we know back there is one of the uh Is this gonna be the torture room or whatnot? Because you know, I've been I've been there before because I because I fucked up, you know, the uh the recording, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, kind of remember now. He even took some annotation from that, from that and whatnot. So yeah. But now I gotta tell, I'll take care of a trap named uh, Raikov. Traps are okay, yeah, why not? But I don't know. This is, uh, I don't know. This guy here might even be the most very feminine bastard I've ever met here by far. See, I know. Fucking hell. You get back here, motherfucker, cause I'm coming for you, asshole. Who's that? Support you and confront your status. We have an intruder, support you in the move out. I have my doubts, like this is gonna even make a difference, but screw it. Spirit indeed. Really? Alright, I see how it is. I mean, for now. Yeah, for now. Yeah, stop your shit. Yeah? Where are they going? 
I know the faggot is hiding, so I'm gonna get him afterwards or whatnot. Damn it! Wrong button. Snake to jump, vault, not not crouch. Problematic motherfucker. Come on, get up there. Bondage. Who the hell? Oh, if I had a rocket launcher, that guy would have been fucked by now. Where they come? Drop down, one. This guy's pretty dumb, isn't he? Ah, for fuck's sake. Wait, what? Damn it, snake! Focus! Where are you going? Ah, fucking hell! Yeah, I mean, you got, you got these guys caught in the first place, yeah? What? Where the hell is he? From one point I hear that voice is in one place, and the other then... I'm confused, goddammit. Hey! Alright, alright, that takes care of that. And you go after the uh, two scientists and whatnot. It kind of, this thing kind of pissed me off. Take two shots ahead and we finally kill this bastard and whatnot. Bastard, fucking hell. Wait, you know what? I got myself an idea. I don't know if I, I might have enough ammo for this, but who cares the damn right? Did it work? Uh... Um... Uh, okay, I get it. Snake, it just hit your goddamn toe. Huh. But I don't know, some things are just, I mean, some of them might not be just some... I didn't remove that down over here. Let's see how the little something for me. Come on. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake, it just falls backward. Boom. Snake, come on, man. Don't bullshit me. Kinda think I'm better off with the M16. I mean, okay, doesn't matter. Not the same thing in this case. Kinda. Kind of 
That looks even better, think about it. Alright. I mean, then again, these lockers, they did, of course, uh, piss me off and whatnot, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm better off just, like, just opening calmly one by one, instead of just fucking them up and whatnot, yeah? <sighs> oh well. I get it. Shit. What can I say? I get pissed half a time, yeah? Don't know if this might be a good idea or not, but who gives a damn? I just, I just enjoy the destruction. <laughs> just hold backwards. Yeah. The lock ones just animated the door just fall backwards or whatnot. Just like so. God damn it. Bingo. But, who we'll give a damn, right? They can easily place, replace a hinge at a time and whatnot. But yeah, I guess it's, I guess it's only down to Rykov now. Yeah, 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 I know. Have some white phosphorus, a bitch! <laughs> Support units, come from your status, yeah, 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 yeah. Little bitch! And everything here just just just, just okay. Let's have the chickens at. Hmm. Smell like chicken. All right. Time to time to kidnap his body and whatnot, and probably violate him as well too. Uh, yeah. I'll give it down. This game, he might look as he look as lightweight and whatnot, but it's actually pretty goddamn heavy. I wonder what the colonel does to him or whatnot. But then again, who, who even gives a damn, right? Bang, doom, doom. You know, just dragging his face to the goddamn steps. Like, I don't give a damn. Like, he's toasted and so, since he's, you know, so he claims to be the hot, he's the hot guy, right? And the hot shot too. Then I might as well just. Uh, and in the title, the fight phosphorus grenade. But then again, that would kind of say ruin the body. I mean, the uniform would not in real life because, you know, just to cook up his corpse like that and just boom. Oh well, I guess I guess we're gonna find out sooner or later. He had it coming. Shit. How much further now to goddamn lockers? This guy is quite heavy, god, goddamn heavy and whatnot. Shit. Okay, there we go. My little pathway of destruction. Okay, took off his uniform and guess what? Oh, he's wearing a freaking speedo now. 
thank for the close-up, even though I didn't need to, but alright. Or like a thong, or I don't know. In you go. And stay there, you slave. So, time to disguise. Right? Then again, why do I have guy keep eating just Shit. Alright. No time to disguise. Camouflage, face. Hmm. I thought I even knew about that one not, but yeah. Alright then. So far so good. Now completely indistinguishable, right? Oh, lovely. So let's see. Major Zero? Ah, your Rykov disguise has turned out nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Not even his own mother could tell the difference. Indeed. You're starting to irritate me already. <laughs> Why? This look should make me more popular. I wouldn't bet on it, but whatever. Now that you're indistinguishable from the real Rykov, you'll be able to get into the West Wing. Which only Volgin and Rykov have access. Only them. Head for the west wing of the weapons lab. That's where Sokolov is being held. Uh huh. Enter the main wing from the second floor of the east wing. Pass west through the main wing, yeah. and you'll come to a connecting passageway. I already knew that. The west wing is at the other end of that passageway. Infiltrate the west wing and rescue Sokolov. Got it. But that I already knew. Now let's see what our medic says. I see you've got yourself a ration. Yeah? Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. No, they're not. Huh? They're disgusting portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. <laughs> hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. Like what? I take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. You are hopeless. Tell me about it. But yeah. See about uh, Sigint. You say grind and shoes? We know that. We already talked about that. Sigint. Yo! Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. Yeah? So I heard. The ground effect vehicle, or WIG, is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Uh-huh. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. Lovely. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these wigs. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The wigs' long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field tested as a transport craft. Oh. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. And its range is pretty good, too. Not that speed is going to help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail. But if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. All right, paramedic. Snake guy. Huh? What? Uh, hello there? Hello? Paramedic, it's me. <laughs> Snake? Oh, it's you. For a minute there I thought you were someone else. Yeah? Why are you so nervous? You've seen this mask before, right? Yeah, but it looks so cool. Good to know. Huh? Cool. You know, kind of like a Venusian. 
Venusian. A Venusian? I mean, not the crab kind, the other kind. What do you Hermetic. mean? Do you really think a guy you've never seen before would suddenly call you on this frequency? I know it sounds ridiculous, but still. What if it was a being from another planet? You can't rule out that possibility. You're insane. <sighs> Looks like you're in a building. If people are living there, there's bound to be people food. Uh huh. People food. Soviet military rations. It beats eating raw snakes and mushrooms all the time, doesn't it? Question. I'm getting the like raw snake and mushroom. You really are turning into an animal. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking lovely. But yeah. Let's see what uh, Sigan says. I mean, I have to repair my chair. Tell me something, Sigan. What's that? What does Sigan mean, anyway? We know that already. Next. Okay, you're disguised as Rykov. You ought to be able to pass for the real deal in that outfit. You can go anywhere you want and nobody's going to ask questions. But don't forget that you can't equip most of your weapons when you're in disguise. Uh-huh. Okay, that takes care of all that and uh... Okay, one second. That's... Yeah, that and boom. Okay. Next. Keep in mind that every weapon and piece of equipment weighs something. Uh huh. The heavier the equipment you're lugging around, the faster you'll burn up stamina. You can see how much your equipment weighs by going into the backpack screen in the survival viewer. If you're trying to conserve your stamina, make some cuts and toss the equipment you don't need in your backpack. Okay, that's uh, what I don't usually do, but okay. <laughs> but I kind of wonder now why Matic would someone just fall down, just fall for a guy like like just rank off this guy's mask or whatnot. So okay, that happened. Not so means it's all that beneficial, but all right, that's what he got. When you're using the assault rifle, we know that. Eat food to recover stamina. Capture. <sighs> we know that. Okay, your Rykov disguise is complete. Now they won't stop you no matter what you do. Hmm. Even if I punch someone in the face. Right. Really? 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 Why? Rykov's just that kind of guy. You an asshole? Glad to know. Once you're disguised as Rykov, you can get into the West Wing where Sokolov is being held. Mm hmm To get to the entrance to the West Wing, pass west through the main wing of the weapons lab and go through the connecting passageway. You can get into the main wing of the weapons lab from the southwest side of the second floor. Head for the main wing. All right. See what you guys have again. Eva, about the escape plan. Yeah, we're getting out on a wig. Hmm. The ground effect vehicle. Right. Here they call it an acrano plan. The Soviet Union has already finished testing one of those. No, this is just the prototype given to Gru. Oh. It was designed to search out and destroy American submarines. That's why it has a long range and a decent speed of 470 miles per hour. It's far beyond the VE-1 developed three years ago. The problem for us is that the one here doesn't have any weapons on board. Big if deal. Tailed, our only choice is to try and shake them. I'll leave that to you. Sorry if I won't have the time to play stewardess for you. <laughs> That's alright. I mean, then again, that does come with an autopilot, yeah? I don't know. Don't worry about Rykov. No one will find him in the locker for a while. For a while? But when they do find him, your disguise will be useless. You won't be able to get into the West Wing, and your mission will be a failure. 
So whatever you do, don't open the locker with Rykoth in it, alright? Okay. Fair enough. Guess I'll save it, might as well, right? You want to save? Duh. I'm going to have, let's say, uh, I don't know, probably go over some things and whatnot. Even though, let's say, let's say that I did save before and whatnot for the rest of them, but they are fucked as well, so might as well just get, we'll go into the 14 case this one fucks up and I don't just uh, screw myself over. Yeah? Okay, save has been successful. Snake, have you? We know that. All right. Got a lot of destruction over here, isn't it? Ration full. One second. Food. More ration. Then again. I can just put punch them, right? And so on. What the fuck are you guys even doing here? Do I care? Of course I don't. You hear me? Get down, you asshole. What about you? What are you looking at, huh? <laughs> yeah? I'm pissed off. Two hits and these guys just fall down in the cold, huh? What are you doing? Don't you run away from me, you asshole. Who's complaining about not eating, huh? I'll give you something to eat? Who the hell are you? You wanna go, you fucking bitch? At least the guys here, they're all knocked out, so yeah, that's good. But yeah. And no, no, no. See about let's see the uh, other areas which I can get access to, yeah? Shit. One second. Uh fucking hell. Hmm. I uh might need to just itch myself here, which is you know, kind of a nasty one not, yeah? Okay, that takes care of that. Ah, I know, I get it. I have to get used to of course my I need share setting whatnot, because for one though for one, the wheels are broken, and two I have no other better option. Sneak nicotine is bad. Hmm. What are you doing? No smoking here. You hear me? Nicotine is bad for you. Well, all right, that takes care of that. Good to know, and no, I don't care. Here. Now go to sleep before I detonate this place area up or whatnot. More ammo, more ammo. Give me all the more. Scorpion, yay! Hm. Then again, do I even need to? I guess not. Or suppressor and uh Well, the guys sleeping around, aren't they? I've been here in both of these, haven't I? Well, alright.
right. It could be bad off, I'll tell you that, man. It could be better off, and where does that other bitch going? Oh, I gotta stop him. Shut the fucker. Yeah, I've been here before, too, so... So what even... So what's so even the hell up, yeah? Yeah, I'll take care of that guy's that guy's hunger and whatnot. I just simply just uh knock him out, right? Sir. With the cap, goddammit. You hear me? With your cap oh, you asshole. Forgive me for troubling you, sir. You hear me? Forgive me for troubling you, sir. Where's your cap? And that's not a straight hat! You asshole. Alright. Now that the, that the destruction here has been mostly dealt with and so on, I really gotta move on and... Yep, I was right. Everyone here apparently is either wearing swimwear or something like that. Uh, if I know, but it's pretty goddamn sexy. So? Shit! Hmm, good idea about that. There's a shaggle hard. And a little scientist just working their ass off and being, uh, being a complete buffoon about it and whatnot. Little engineer. Yeah. Alright. I take care of that. Gotta throw the, the signal. Smoking is bad for you, you hear me? Smoking is bad. It's fucking awful. Grozny Grad, West Wing Carter. Hey. Gotta use how this thing, let's say, gotta have my chair stands and whatnot. Hey, asshats, how they going? Open up the damn door, will ya? And boom, that takes care of that, even though he walks in a very awkward manner or whatnot, but... Oh well. Well, that takes care of that. Get off. And the mask off as well too, but not so soon, I believe. Here it is. Hmm? You can count on me. He's with the M4 section. I get it. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. Um. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. I see. No, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if moaning would make it would be a part of putting on lipstick, but who who knows? I sure as hell don't know. <sighs> Shit. Lovely. Lovely. Thanks, you're the 
stop Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. Big deal, big surprise, who cares? What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Lovely. So, Glove, what exactly is phase two? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. Hmm. Do you tell more? The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. Looks like a crap from here. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. Do tell. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohawk to carry. Really, not so. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. I mean Alaska? Or what? That when I came up with the idea for phase two. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagahod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagahod itself. Hmm. Accelerating it. In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohard. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Mm hmm. Using this booster, the Shagohard can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? It's a pretty fast yes. crab. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. Oh dear. Oh dear. Whoosh. So the Shagohod acts like the f 